All right, so the next thing we got to do is record bills that we receive from vendors. So let's create a bill from vendor one with a billing date of 126-2018 for office rent in the amount. So let me do this. Let me split the screen so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, so if I go to expenses, right, I can do a new transaction um, that would be a new bill. So once again, go to expenses. Go to expenses, new transaction, and then say bill. So that will record every time I receive a new bill. Now notice that my my bill should be from vendor one, right? So my first, I'm going to designate my first vendor to be Barack Obama. And this is a bill that was dated 126. 2018 with a due date of 2-1-2018 and for a thousand dollars for a thousand dollars and the category is rent or lease right so let's go ahead and do rent um, I don't have a category called rent or a chart of a can called rent or lease. So let me do rent or lease. And add it. And it's going to ask me what type of account is this? This is an expense that is under rent or lease of buildings. Um, and that's it. I'm going to save and close it and use that rent or lease. And it doesn't say for what. So I'm going to say, that's it. Where is it? Mm, rent or lease. Um, monthly rent. What is the bill number? The bill number is bill number 28-0126-V1. So make sure you put it right here on that bill number. There's no permit number. This is not billable to any customer. There's no tax associated with that. So I can just save and create a new bill. The second bill that I'm going to get is bill number 2018-0305, right? Um, and this is going from vendor number two. So I'm going to get the second vendor. In this case, is Donald Trump. Um, this has to be dated for 3-5-2018, right? 3-5. 2018 and it's going to be due on April 4th 2018 so that is due on April 4th 2018 very specific right for shipping costs uh, of products in a purchase right and I also have to show item details so notice that you have two categories you have a category details and an item details category details are for general expense accounts or general accounts that you are not attaching to a particular inventory item so in this case my shipping cost would come in from here my 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 cost of shipping would be um, recorded on my category details and the rest of the stuff should be recorded in my item details to record to make sure that my uh, transaction is added so let's go ahead and, and add one transaction it's called shipping let me add shipping um, that's an exp it's a cost of goods sold expense actually so this is shipping and freight and delivery right because we want to make sure that we associate the shipping of any inventoriable item with the inventoriable item cost in our cost of goods sold shipping um i'm going to save and close it and this is for the amount of 56 dollars and then i'm going to say shipping of product whatever my product was so i'm going to say product products one in this case they were my uh, QuickBooks, QuickBooks, um, whatever your product was. In my case, I have QuickBooks software, 
and books. All right. And it's not billable to anybody in particular because we're going to sell those individually. And let me see how much I received. Well, I received 500 products of product one. And so my product one is going to be my software. Uh, and I received five of those, 500 of those. And I am going to use my product to, to be my QuickBooks book. And I'm also going to have 500 of those. All right. Whatever you decide your product is, just you want to make sure that you're following. I have the that that when I get your assignment, I'm going to know which one is what uh, based on, on whatever has the balance. And that's it. This is a bill that I received um, from vendor number two for 500 items of one, 500 items of the next. And this is how much I'm supposed to pay. It's quite a bit of money. Okay, so let me do another one, which is a bill from vendor three that's dated 5 5 2018, right? 5 5 2018. And the bill number is 1 2 3 4 5 for from vendor number three so this would be george bush um i thought i had re that one. Oh, well i guess i didn't so let me just keep it as george bush um category is for 500 products of product number three so this would be my souvenirs so category is not the right expense i got to put this on my item details so if you don't have this item details you have to go back to your to your um, company settings to activate the inventory items. So under expenses, you have to activate track products and services. So in this case, that would be my souvenirs. And I'm going to do 500 at $10. And let me make sure that I have a due date, due 30 days later. So in this case, 30 days later would have been 6 for 2018, right? Make sure you have those dates, 5-5-2018. Five, five, this is 5,000 because they're 500 times 10. Perfect. And that's it. I'm going to save and close. And I am done with require number eight.